Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. Every day we create some different charts in PowerPoint or in Excel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D isometric chart, which looks very professional and it's easy to use also. So let's see how it looks like. So when I click the data one will come, which says 13%, then the data two comes, then the data three, it's four, it's five, and, and data six. So you can see here, it's all interconnected. And then I have added some icons and the, it shows the percentages. And likewise, I have created another slide with four options only. So let's see how to create this 3D isometric chart in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, change the background, go to format background and say gradient fill. I have used a light blue and dark blue color combination. And then go to insert shapes, select a oval shape, draw the oval shape while holding the shift key and shape outline make it no outline and fill with aqua color and then go to the format shape effects under 3d, 3D rotation select this one which is isometric top up and then press ctrl d to duplicate it and I'm going to increase the width of this, sorry, the depth. And here I'm going to select the material, which is the clear and the lightning effect, which is the flat. So you got this much, this shape. And if you want, you can further increase the the depth so you will end up with this I'm going to add a glow effect for this select glow and select the preset which is this one and you can select this color And if you want, you can increase the, the transparency also. And select this one more time, Control D. And put it on top. You have to make sure that this is properly aligned. And once this is done, then we can add the below options or the diagram for this go to format shape outline give this outline and shape fill make it no fill and this also you can give a little bit glow effect you can see and you can increase the transparency level press ctrl d i'm going to make three or four send this to back one to and select all this option go to format align left and you can group it this you can place it at the bottom if you want you can add some more glow effect also and i'll just say send this to back All right, I'm just going to select this, bring a little down. And if you want to add some more glow effect, select the shapes, draw a rectangle, give a gradient fill. Instead of blue, I'm just going to use the same color. And here I'm going to make it maybe the same color of the background and transparency level 
make it fully 100% and direction you can make it or the other way around and this also you can give some transparency effect make it no outline and give some more soft edges you can increase the size and put it here align it properly and this also can be all can be grouped or only this part can be grouped together I'll send this to back control G to group it and add it the bottom and send this to back I'm going to add one more circle here go to insert shapes select the oval shape shape outline make it yellow outline and shape fill make it no fill and effect you have to make the same 3d rotation which is this one and bring it here you can increase the outline a little bit and for this also you can give some glow effect which is I'm going to say yellow and then you can add one more or if you have the icons add the icons or the percentages for example I'm just going to insert the text which I will say 15% uh, make it bigger with the white you can bold it and this also I'm going to give the same rotation or I can give uh, this rotation so it should look like this increase the size a little bit if you have the icon it will be better or if you want to add some shadow effect also you can add the shadow effect to add the shadow effect you can go to insert shapes select the oval shape and go to grid and fill select the type as path make sure that is no outline and dark color I'm going to give a white and here this one I'm going to give a black so this white I'm just going to make it transparency to 100% and this also I'm going to reduce the transparency and rotate it a little bit reduce the size So this is it looks like a shadow effect of this 15% and then I'm going to select all press ctrl D to duplicate it bring the other side somewhere here I'm going to put it bring some more down and if you want you can increase the size of this that means the depth can be increased can you see the depth is increasing and then I'm going to select move this up sorry select all this and
place it again this also I'm just going to select all and put it on top this you can make it now instead of 15% maybe you can make it 32% and then you can add one line from this circle to that go to shapes select a line I'm just going to draw a line this also make it yellow and a glow effect all right now i'm going to copy this again press ctrl d copy the other side here you can increase the size or you can make the size the same then just is a matter of Control D, bring it here and this end to this side. Again, Control D here. And here, you can see that our design is almost ready and then we need to add the, the data here. Now you can change the percentages or maybe I'll just give this as 55 and this will be like 87% and below you can add text so I just make the text a simple text box I have taken this is option 1 this is uh, you can say data 1, data 2, data 3 and data 4 and select all these datas and make sure it aligned top and change the label to 2, 3 and 4. Now it's time to do the animation. To add the animations, go to any uh, animation pane, close this format, enable the animation pane and select all this option 1 or data 1 and say fly in and then it comes all together. So I'm just going to give a delay, for example I'll delay after this 0.25 second then deselect this oval 3 and increase the delay percentage then increase this delay percentage one by one i'm just going to sorry one by one i'm just going to increase it all right sorry now if you see here if i play it comes like this if you want you can select all and make it somewhat faster also timing instead of 0.5 seconds you can make it 0.3 seconds so it comes very fast and likewise i will select the second option or before that i'll select this line and i'll say wipe that is on click only then I will select the full option data 2 and again say fly in fly in this will be after previous and then I will select this one by one and give the same Can you see here? Likewise, you have to do all. So, if I play, it comes like this, then it comes like that. So, again, I'm just going to copy this before that, the line one more time, wipe wipe instead of 
from bottom I'll just say from left so it comes and give the same animation to rest of this so let's see how once after giving all the animation how the slide looks I have added all the animation so let's see how it looks when I say play the option one come or data one comes then it will show you data 2 then the data 3 and then the data 4 so here also I have to make this actually after previous all right so this is how your isometric 3d chart looks like that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye